what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video in today's video guys you won't want to miss this dad and i are going to our favorite civil war spot and uh, we find a lot of cool things guys find a lot of bullets buttons a couple other things so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you don't ever want to miss another video let's go all right guys out of all places to dig my first good find um it's this one i just seen a snake up that ways a little bit a uh, little tiny snake but uh, i keep watching my back because i don't like snakes too much but um yeah about what is this probably eight inches deep i got my first and this is a big boy too holy smokes i think this is what they call a 59 but guys look how big this bullet is like holy cow might get a close-up of this All right, guys, we're finally on the stuff here. I got my headphones on, so you're not going to hear it, but you might be able to see it on the screen. It's coming up a solid 28-29. Could be a bullet. Could be a coin. We'll find out. Or it could just be a big old top to a bottle. That's not what we're after. <laughs> Got myself another beautiful three ringer here. I mean, this is like tip top shape as if it was just made 13 seconds ago whenever I started this footage. I mean, this is an ideal three ringer, that's for sure. I think there might be actually some more in the holes. Um, this is actually really sharp. Still would hate to get hit by one of them. We're gonna keep checking though. I think this might be a multiple, multiple bullet dig. Maybe not. Here's my first good find of the day. I've been digging a bunch of junk. There's some kind of encrusted little buckle. Like I said, very first find of the day that's recordable. Uh, we're still early in the hunt. We're hoping to find some bullets. And last time we was here, we found probably seven or eight buttons. So gonna be a long hot day mosquitoes are bad it's supposed to get up to like 95 degrees a day i'm already soaking sweat but we're gonna see if we can have a good time all right guys this is what we've came here for right here baby um got myself it wasn't even very deep in the ground but it popped out i'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit but it looks like oh yeah it's definitely an eagle button guys check that freaking out man that is awesome that's what we came here for right there fellas and lady fellas now i wonder what the mark is i'm going to clean it up a little later okay this probably looks like it was probably some kind of eating utensil probably had a wooden handle on it with these pins going through it Look like it broke off right there. So probably a fork or a spoon, maybe even a some kind of a dinner knife or something like that. It's what it looks like to me anyways. Okay, here's a square nail I just dug. Uh, it's coming up like a six on the simplex. Normally around home sites around here, I don't dig that. But being where we're in a, a decent little Civil War area, I'm definitely going to dig by any signal I get and been digging a pile of these square nails that's a good sign though all right guys things are actually really starting to pick up for me so had a little trouble finding this one but it's going to be another bullet and it's a dropped one as well so keep it up i have a nice little collection of these check this out solid 24 on the equinox guys it's tearing it up okay here's my really very first good non-ferrous signal it's up around 61 62 on the simplex and it's about right in there so i'll dig it and i'll get back with you here's my first non-ferrous signal oh uh, looks like it's going to be camp lead no bullet formed or anything like that just an old piece of camp lead but at least that's something that's better than just digging square nails 
came across this slamming signal on the uh, Equinox. I got my Equinox in four kilohertz simply because, uh, as you can see right there, uh, simply because um, it really brings out smaller signals. So like this little item right here, whatever this is, I think it's going to be a button. But this little thing, buddy, let me tell you, she was screaming at me. It might even be a rivet. I think that's actually what it is. It, yeah, I think it's just a brass rivet. Ugh. I don't know. I'm going to say it's a button just so I can keep my confidence built up. But, um, yeah, I'll put that in the backpack. That's awesome. This signal right here was a little different. It was actually coming up at 12 to 13. And it's a, um, a yet another Civil War bullet. I've been finding, I think this is probably like my fifth one today. So, not too shabby, I guess. As you can see, I don't got gloves on. That's pretty dumb of me, but you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do, fellas. All right, well, I'm back and dad is up there digging bullets. I hear him, he just found one. But uh, this one right here, it was probably about a good pinpointer deep, which is about nine inches. But it's gonna be another dropped three ringer as you can see right there i mean all of these bullets that i've been finding have been in like mint condition so that is a good sign but man i really want to find the buttons like i've come here for buttons and old coins that's it all right guys i don't find these very often so i'm pretty excited about finding this it's a bullet it's an infield uh, pretty awesome find here. I love finding infield bullets, but just because I don't find very many of them. I find piles of uh, three ringers and stuff like that. I don't find very many infields, so I'll take that. All right, guys, I figured why the heck not. I'm going to try to do a live dig here. It's a scratchy signal, but um, you know what? I think I'm just going to live dig it just to see what she'll be. All right, well, it's out of the hole. Come on, give me a button. Give me a button. Please, all I want is a button. All right, well, it's not a button, but it's actually a pretty big round ball, honestly. Uh, still a pretty cool little live dig, though. How about it? It's actually a really big ball. All right, guys, this is what I've came here for. Like, it, it kind of confused me because it wasn't too deep at all, but it was showing like a real scratchy 29 and it dropped all the way down to like a two and then back up to 24. But here it is right here. I already got it out of the hole. And what that's going to be is a pretty nut. Oh, yeah, and it's still got the shank. Make sure I'm getting this on camera and not just talking to myself here. Wow. Let's go, man. Oh, 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 it's got a different design on it. I think dad said that's like a New York state seal button, maybe. We'll get a close up of this bad boy right here. Okay, here's my decent find. Jordan just showed me his nice 69 caliber bullet he found, and I guess he must have gave a little bit of his uh, good fortunes over to me. Found myself a pocket knife. That's probably error, I would say from whatever else we're finding. So, maybe we're gonna get into something good here. Okay, everyone keeps pulling buttons and bullets. I keep po pulling pocket, I keep pulling pocket knives. This is the second one today already. Uh, I was hoping to find a couple buttons, but it'd be nice to find a couple nice pocket knives, I guess. All right, guys, I don't know what I got here. It looks gold, but 
let's check it out together. It popped out of the hole. It wasn't very deep. Let's check this out. Uh, it's not going to be a gold coin. I was hoping to be a go gold coin, but what is it? That's the question. I can't tell what that is. I'm going to have to get a better cleanup on that one. That looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can get you in the sunlight. Maybe we can see something here in the sun. Well, that more that almost looks more general service button of today. Like a more current general service. I don't know. I wonder what that would be mixed up with all this Civil War. That's kind of weird. But we'll see. Or once I get it cleaned up a little bit better. Dang it, I thought sure I had my first gold coin. I called Jordan over and everything. Got my first Silver War button. It's just a little cuff link. I'll get a better cleanup of it later. But anyway, that's my first real Silver War button today, anyways. So that makes me happy. On to the next button. Wow, this bullet here made me really work. It was clean back underneath this rock. I couldn't get that big, big rock at right there. So it was like down three inches underneath it. So I'm like digging back, but finally got it. It looks like a three ringer. All right, here's my first one of these today. This is what a lot of people call a uh, wormed bullet, Civil War bullet. What it was, was it was pulled out of the barrel. They had a tool that would pull it out, you know, it, could have been evening time or whatever unloading their guns i don't know but anyways that's what they call a worm bullet all right guys probably gonna be one of my last digs of the day i'm still gonna swing a couple more times hopefully i'm gonna end on a button but uh as we can see in the hole here it's gonna be another another drop civil war bullet which isn't a bad way to end i mean it's in probably perfect condition but uh really want to find like a coin or just a really beautiful button guys so keep our fingers crossed hopefully my dreams will come true hey guys here's our final roundup of the day get out of the sunlight here uh our buddy kelly he tore it up today he was using the at pro i think he said he had 16 bullets plus this little tiny one we all got numerous buttons well not me i end up with two but Jordan and them, they got some nice collection of buttons. There's a, right here's a, uh, a nice New York State seal button. And I think Jordan's got a little one. Yeah, Jordan found a little tiny New York State seal. Uh, Jordan, that's his bullets. He did pretty good. I had the day as far as pocket knives. I think I, this was probably an actual pocket knife itself too. But for sure two pocket knives an old iron buckle i was i probably dug i don't know how many of them i just laid a few of them out cool but uh bullets here these are wormed as i was digging them straight up here's an infield bullet that was a pretty cool and it looks like it might be wormed i'm not sure but that's an infield rest of them everybody else has three ringers so you know we, we was up there from oh it was probably a good six hours almost five six hours so pretty much everything up there you dig you can see we dug a lot it's a fun day a lot of work involved i hope you enjoy